We got more Maximum Gold Leaks today, and it's actually really amazing. So I want to show off here that you guys can get cases of Maximum Gold from Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market for $4.95, well, or $4.69.95, uh, shipped to your front door. If you enter MCO40, by the way, uh, you will save a little bit on your purchase over here, so it's very important that you guys do that. As per usual, if you guys are shopping on TCG Player for those pre-sales as well, please use my link down below. Helps the channel at zero cost to you guys. I love helping you guys out. It's fantastic. So today, we have more leaks coming out. Dark Paladin TV actually ended up having a whole bunch of these. I'll leave a link down below to the video, and you guys can check out this stuff. This is pretty crazy. So the first gold leak that we actually have coming out of today was the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish here. You see the Dark Paladin 9 TV on this. So it doesn't surprise me that Rusty got this. Uh, we were pretty much anticipating that Rusty would be up on the reprint block here. And I'll be honest with you, I don't expect this to be crazy. If the original Rusty at this point is basically a $2.25 card on the market, then I expect this to follow suit as well. But as you can see, They've done a fantastic job on this, and I, I, I've been, I've been hyping up this gold rare for a little while because the, the borders pop, and the monsters kind of look like ultimate rares. And I'm not saying that I'm trying to suck it off or anything, but I'm, I'm very impressed with how this looks. All right. So at the end of the day, will this gold rare be crazy money? I have a feeling this one's going to be one of the cheaper ones coming in, probably about the two dollar price tag. If you guys have done the math. You might have known that like the base price on a gold rares might go up, but we'll have to wait and see for the most part. So Rusty Tin Can Man coming in. Next up, this one shocked me. We're doing another Dark Destroyer in Gold Rare. Alright, now I get it's been a little while since Cosmos have gotten love, but this kind of makes me wonder, is Cosmo is Cosmo support coming? Are we are we really doing this? That's one of the big things I, I kind of thought about this. We do have a large chunk of exclusives coming up into Blazing Vortex. Whether or not they're just trying to make Dark Destroyer more accessible, or this could actually mean that we have more Cosmo stuff coming. I, I'm a man that likes to grasp at straws, but when they do reprints like this, it definitely goes to make me wonder, though, are we doing this? Is Konami going to push out more Cosmo support. Another cheap gold rare here. It's not a bad thing. Like I said, I'm excited to see where these are going in the long run, but very interesting choice to see this. Now, next up, we have Infernity Mirage. Now, with the recent reprint of Infernity cards, uh, a lot of you guys might have noticed that Mirages were still sitting at the $16, $17 mark. And I do agree that those were pretty freaking ridiculous numbers, by the way. When you're seeing outlandish numbers for something that, like this, should have gotten many reprints a long ago. But, alas, this is our reprint window. And this card pops out really well from the ultimate border. I'm actually, once again, I'm super excited to see where the value on these are going to go. Because... The other copy is $16, $17, $18, and now we've reprinted this. So now we've just effectively destroyed the value on this. Once again, good job. Reprint sets doing their job. I like that. Now, next up, we have the big one. All right. Alistair, the frickin' Invoker of Madness. And look at that gold border. It's so nice. I actually was shocked that they gave Alistair the alternate printing here. Now, one cool thing about this here is, is his staff doing like this infinite symbol thing? I, that kind of caught my attention too. I was uh, a little bit intrigued by that. Um, but I think we have on our hands here a potentially very expensive card. Considering that, one, how good this actually pops. Once again, that gold doing justice for this. And I'm actually surprised that they made Alistair look this good. The uh, Konami did a fantastic job across the board with all of these alternate reprints, except for Boral Sword. It looks kind of derpy. And Stratos. Stratos looks constipated. But 
Appaloosa, fantastic. The Alice are fantastic. I'm, I'm very happy that Konami's doing cool alternate arts. Next up, we have the alternate art tour guide getting a gold rare. Now, if you guys noticed, Konami did choose a lot of cards for alternate printings. And by a lot, I mean, interestingly enough, things like the tour guide. The, the winner, Cherry's got her alternate art. I haven't seen a Ash Blossom yet get her alternate art with a gold. I actually hope that they do do that. Because I wasn't a big fan of the Ultra, but the Gold Rare definitely peeps my potential interest here with this. So are you, I honestly though want to ask, like, are you guys a fan of this? I, I The gold printing on this makes these characters stand out a little bit more, and the card itself pops a little bit. But this isn't, like, Alistair level pop. I kind of feel like there's too much going on here to really make me want to enjoy this. So, I don't know, maybe I'm being a little bit skeptical about this, but... Nonetheless, another great choice for Gold Rare. Next up, we have a better picture of the miscellaneous Sarasaurus. Now, I, I talked about this uh, in another video earlier in the week, and people were like, well, no way, it wasn't, it wasn't confirmed. We now have a better picture of this. And as you can see here, Misk pops out really well. Certain angles, you really do get that gold border sh or shine. All right? And it's it's beautiful when you look at this. So now we have more confirmation on the miscellaneous Sarasaurus. So I can stop hearing the naysayers going, no, it, it wasn't true. <laughs> Better pictures, all right? So I'm very happy with this one as well. Even though I don't like Misk as a card, I, I do think that this does once again pop very beautifully. And then we have Parlor Dragon Maid. Now, at the end of the day, um, we just, we killed the value on this thing. All right, like, once again, good job, Konami. You dumped Kitchen in here, you dropped this in here. I would like to see Hospitality get a gold rare like this. Kind of feel like they just mainly went with the monsters for this. But man, the shine on this brings the detail to life. I almost think that the gold rare for this might actually be better than the actual card itself from what we've had in previous versions. That's an unpopular opinion, by the way. But it pops so freaking nicely. Oh, I'm so excited for these. Man, gold rare. I, I'm, I'm so hyped for this. And then we also have Cyber Dragon Infinity. Once again, this one kind of has a lot going on. But once again, you can see the outline of the gold frame here popping out, making the monster almost pseudo come to life at this point. I think that's the level of detail I really like when it comes to this style of cards, is the more that they look alive, the better off I think that these cards will actually look. So this is all the information that we got from Dark Paladin 19 TV. I, did, I do want to say this about gold series though. I think that this set is six or set up to be very good. Konami did a fantastic job with the alternate arts. The alternate arts are selling this. I'm, I'm glad to see that Konami's pulling a page almost from Magic's book with going down the alternate art printings of things. This is something that we've needed for a very long time. It, it, it kind of stinks when you get like 19 reprints of the same freaking card, but like they're all the same art, all right? And I mean, Dark Magician Blue Eyes have done this for a very long time, but now they're starting to do this with more towards the competitive scene. And I think this was a very good step in the right direction. Uh, the, the Ghost Sisters were a big popular success, I feel. Now you got Stratos, Alistair, these iconic cards that are now getting these alternate arts. If Konami can continue on with doing this marketing strategy, I would love to see way more alternate arts in the game. I think having, I honestly, I think it's one of the cool appeals to this stuff. All right, you get the chance to pick up a reprint, but in a new art, all right? So I want Konami to continue on with this trend. I know a lot of people kind of disagree with that. It is what it is, but more printings available uh, kind of brings value to these, all right? We've had some, you know, not so flattering reprints in the past for some of these cards, but alas, once again, we're going down the right direction here, and I want to see this continue. So guys, please, what do you think about Maximum Gold in general? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Are you guys going to pick up a case? You'd go Black Market, MCO 40, save a little bit of money in your purchase. And that's really all I got for this video. I will see you guys on the flip side. Have a good rest of your day, Duelist. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well... 
I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.